My name is Namaya Ladd. I'm a research associate at the University of Freiburg in Germany. Um, and I'm here today at Biosphere 2 as part of the Biosphere 2 Water, Atmosphere, and Life Dynamics campaign, B2 Vald. I'm an organic geochemist with a focus on paleoclimate, so I use molecules that are produced by leaves that accumulate in sediment to learn about past environmental and climatic changes. And I have the opportunity with the drought here to really look at how some of these molecules are changing in a modern drought um, and use this as kind of an analog for what we're looking at in the sediments when we go back in time. So one of the, the molecules that we're interested in as um, organic geochemists is the waxy layer on the surface of the leaf. So if you rub your fingers across the surface of the leaf, you'll feel this very thick waxy coating. And that's mainly made up of alkanes, um, which are long chain hydrocarbons, just carbon and hydrogen all strung together. And that molecule is really resistant to degradation. So it sticks around in sediment for thousands or even millions of years. There was a study recently that grew plants in the dark from beans, and so they were basically forcing the plants to just rely on stored carbohydrates to make all their leaf waxes versus plants that were grown in the same species in the light with the same water. Um, so that one could obviously photosynthesize, and they saw a, a huge difference in the hydrogen isotope composition of the leaf waxes. And they speculated that that's because of this like forced use of stored carbohydrates. And so then what I think here is like in the drought is that there's also gonna be less photosynthesis going on. So any new waxes or new lipids that are being produced are going to be coming, or they're gonna be more coming from stored carbohydrates than under normal conditions. So that's the really exciting opportunity with this experiment that we have a lot of circumstantial evidence from uh, other studies people have done with plants in modern systems so far, but this will be the first direct test of that idea.